I want to make a quick breakdown of a trick play that I saw online from the Lions-Panthers game this past Sunday. It occurred in the third quarter with about a minute left on a third and six, and it's not the reverse flea flicker pass that everybody is talking about with regards to the Lions and the Niners. This one instead is a snap by the center through the legs of Jared Goff to the running back, David Montgomery. So we're going to take a look at it and talk about this play. So as you can see, the Lions have the ball on the Panthers 15-yard line going in. And what's going to happen is you're going to see Jared Goff kind of, he's going to kind of pat the hip of the center like, hey, we're getting started, get ready to snap this ball. But then he's going to start using all of his hand motions. He's actually going to motion for our receiver right here, right, to go in motion, okay? And as he's doing that, showing his hand like, hey, come in motion, the ball will be snapped actually, okay? And it's important to note that because while his hand's up here, the defense is not thinking that the ball will be snapped. Why? Well, it takes a full second once they get under center as quarterbacks for them to be able to snap the ball. So with his hand up here, you're not expecting the snap to occur. And obviously, no one's really ever snapped the ball through the quarterback's legs to the running back in the NFL. I don't think I've ever seen this. Okay? We're going to get the snap directly to David Montgomery, who's then going to run downhill. Okay? And everybody's going to block the zone to the left. So our two tight ends right here are going to work defender, kind of seal off, try to seal off this backer, or really it's more of a, it's more of a safety or, or defensive back in reality. We're going to get our right tackle, right guard working combination up to this backer, okay? Center, left guard combination block up to this backer. Left tackle is going to kick out, okay? And again, what's going to happen, we're going to see as well, just so you guys are aware, this defender is actually going to beat uh, the beat the center cross the face of the center and so david montgomery is going to have to in co and press and then bounce it to the outside and run okay this receiver right here is going to run up and blocks block uh the safety okay and jared goff is going to act like he has going and looking for the ball it looks like to kind of sell that there's something weird happening and that he's looking for the ball like it's a fumble and then turn around and watch the play okay so let's run the let's watch the play from the sideline. Then we'll watch it from the end zone view. Okay. So as you can see, right, got his hands. Oh, come in motion, right? Oh no, don't worry, guys. Right, watch. Oh, tap. Okay, tap, tap. Okay. Oh, come. Oh, wait. No. That's not how that's supposed to work. If you're the defense, right? So come, come in motion. Oh, ball snapped. Okay, Dan Montgomery bounces a little bit to the outside and gets a first down, gets all the way down to about the four-yard line. So let's take a look at it from the end zone view, okay, give you a better clear picture, right? So again, what do our blocking scheme say? Okay, combo, combo, up, combo, combo, up, combo, combo, out, kick out, safety. Press, press, and then cut if you have to, okay? So let's go ahead and run the play from the end zone view so you guys can see this as well. See, center kind of ducks his head after the snap, so he gets swum, swam real quick, squat, not swum, swam real quick, okay? Now Montgomery has to, now Montgomery's looking to cut it, and Left tackle has allowed himself to get beat to the inside, but he doesn't give up, keeps washing down, and Montgomery just jump cuts. Okay, that's why you work the jump cuts with your running backs. If you're a running backs coach, you want to work those so where they come up, right? They're gonna run up, boom, jump cut, run up, boom, jump cut around a bag. This is where you this is where it comes into practice, right? That's why when you do these drills, that's why you do those drills, running backs. Oh, jump cut. Okay, stop and go. Okay. All right, and that's the play. Now, the reason I like this is you can do so many other things off of it. Imagine now you do it and the running back starts running. Let's go back and let's say that the running back starts running to the right. Let's say that Montgomery gets it and he starts running to the right. Jared Goff boots out to the left, right? Or receiver comes back and you throw a backside screen. Ooh. Right, quarterback, running back. You can do some extra trick plays with it, but it's really neat. And I really liked it. 
And I wanted to talk about it because, holy cow, I don't think I've ever seen it happen before. But got to give the Lions a little bit of love. They've been doing really well this year, and I wanted to do a quick breakdown of this play because it's pretty impressive to, for them to be able to work that snap. You've got to practice that a lot. The center's got to be just dead on with his snap going through the legs because if he snaps it too high, he's going he's gonna to hit Jared Goff, right? As you can see, everybody, oh, I, I'm fumbling the ball. Oh, no, I don't know what's happening. Oh, oh, oh I'll, I'll watch the play, okay? But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know down below. Uh, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and then also check out the end screen for other recommended videos. But hopefully that was a little bit of fun for you to see a trick play with a quarterback not actually getting the ball, not ever touching the ball, but the ball being snapped through his legs. We'll see you on the next breakdown video.